Hello guys, Maurice here again and I've got a little problem I got lots of snails and if you're like me stay tuned and I'll show you how to get rid of them Okay guys, someone once told me the road to hell is paved with good intentions and I'm in hell Okay guys, this is what I'm talking about when I say I'm in hell. Look at all those snails. There you go. Up on the glass. There you go. There you go. This is nighttime. I just turned on the lights. So they're all out and about. Look all over here. They're all on the plants. Yep. All on the substrate. So it's trap time. Two water bottles, one pair of trusty Swiss army knife scissors, one algae wafer, and one large stone from your tank. Insert the second bottle cover into the tube of the first bottle just like this so that you could see straight through. The bottle covers are inside and there's no way for the snails to get out. So how this trap's gonna work is the snails are gonna smell the food, smell the bait, come in through here, climb in, go down, try to get the food and because of the shape of the cone they're not going to be able to find their way out so in the morning I could take these guys out and do as I please with them okay guys it's 6 a.m. next morning and the trap worked there's a lot of snails in there let me take it out Oh, there's also a fish in there. That's because I didn't um, cover down the cover and make the sizes a little smaller. Yeah, I have smaller fish. So if you guys have small fish like I do, you may want to leave the cap on and drill a hole in the cap the size of the snails so that snails could get in and nothing else can. Learn from other people's mistakes, guys. I have one fish in there as well. But look at how many snails. I'm gonna take it out and show you okay guys I took the trap out sand looks a lot cleaner it still has some snails on this side the trap is now empty and this is what I got all those are snails I can't quantify it it may look like a little bit inside this bucket but it's the start of a good fight there are no more snails on the side that I can see so that means they're under the sand and we will reapply the trap later tonight okay guys that's my video thank you for watching I hope it helps somebody uh, Maurice out for more great content click on the playlist above it will take you to my Moe's Minis playlist and there you could find short fun clips on the hobby. Click on the link below and it will take you to my playlist 
Trinidad's finest fish keepers, and there you could learn more about fish keeping hobby in Trinidad and Tobago. And remember, if you like what you saw and you'd like to see more, click that subscriber button in the middle.